Hey guys, so quick tutorial today and I just wanted to show you how you can create yeah, this beautiful aesthetic scroll ornament or decoration. So I think that's pretty cool and it's pretty simple to do. Yeah, let me create a new file here. Go and yeah, find an ornament vector and just search for some simple ones. So yeah, start with something simple. So something like that for the tutorial. And just go here to the top view and import a pant that image. So I think that was that one. Yeah, that looks good. And so maybe bring this a little bit here to the center. And also I just want to bring it down a little bit and press M, bring it to the front and make it a little bit transparent and disable here the selection in the viewport so we can just work. So yeah, so that's really simple. You just have to spend some time and and what we will do is just here create a spline, take a spline curve, but I will take the control point curve, shift F. So you can both uh, use both, but I just like the shift F one. And here just create very roughly uh, this shape of the, yeah, of this first uh, swirl. And um, I'm not doing here this a cylindrical shape because I will tell you why later or you can just make it with the sphere so you have something like that right and now just go with one to point mode and and just adjust it and here you see already you just really have to spend some time and love and yeah just adjust it but you see with those curves it's really fun so yeah then you have first curve and then you create the second. So again, shift F and yeah, you go. Let me wait. Let me take this point here. And I just want a little bit more of a rounding. So yeah, I'm just adjusting that here a tiny bit. Yeah. So again, shift F and create the next curve. Maybe also press control. So you're not snapping anywhere. Yeah, so something like that. And you see you have to adjust a lot. So again, just adjust, adjust all of those points and just spend really time and love with that because yeah, you will get really beautiful results. But yeah, so we have our first curve here and f f be sure that they are connecting. So we are not connecting here. So just press one, select both of both of points, press L to love, press D and just, um, yeah, create that thing here. And cool. You see, we, we are getting somewhere. So now maybe just here, just a little bit. So everything looks very smooth. And here, what we have to do now. So. We need two, basically two lines. So we have now one, two, three, but we need two. So if you have this kind of stuff, just select all of them, press J, join them and trim the, or split curve here in the middle. And again, select that curve and Alt J and just join those two points, uh, edges and those two edges. So you have here, you see one edge and the second edge. And now what you want to do is, yeah, just create more curves. So again, shift F and we will just create a few more curves. And yeah, I will do it very simple here. You can create it here with tangency, but I'm not doing that right now. So again, just adjust it a little bit and create a second one. And, and this curve will just go here. You don't have to close it. This is also important. The most important thing is that uh, here you have two lines and they are going inside because we will create now in a second the loft, so the volume, but they have always everywhere to in intersect. Otherwise, you can't boolean that later. So just very quick here, the same progress. So it would be this way and just so yeah, I'm just for the tutorial, just showing you the very basic, definitely spend more time as always, but yeah, so you see here those two lines, they are going inside. So yeah, let's just create one more and then let's connect everything. Let's create that big one. And let's here, I will show you, or let me show you 
all of the, those different techniques that we also can then loft at later. So here select the normal spline curve and this one you will get a little bit of a better rounding directly. You see it's, I don't know, it's automatically going like here, like really cool. So right click and you see that looks already pretty good. And let me create a new one, go here to the edge and okay, this one needs then a little bit of adjustment. But yeah, also bring that one just here. But here you see this curve is already a little bit too crazy. So let me delete it and I make just shift F. This curve is just a little bit easier to control. Yeah, so basically when you have all of your curves, so let me hide that image in the background. Now comes the fun part. So we ha have a few options. So let's, of, first of all, let's start with this one. So we can just create here shift A and just create a few lines along, yeah, those curves here. And maybe you can also, so if you want to work with those two lines, so let me delete those. So if you want to work, if you want to work with those two lines, alt H. So you just have them two and shift A and just create here a few lines. And again, just practice that and you will see where to place the lines. And yeah, so yeah, something like that. We don't even need that much, I think. So select all of them, shift S to subdivide them. You see now we have points in the middle and just press G and just bring them up, you see. So now we give them kind of volume. And yeah, here now you can just adjust this point because it's going to the end, it's not so high. And you see where it's thicker, it needs a little bit more of volume. So yeah, it's really for you guys who will like this kind of ornaments and scrolls, you can really dig into that. So now when we have everything, just select this line and this line, shift, uh, press L to loft. And now with shift click, boom, we just add this volume and you see it's, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing, look really cool and it looks really smooth and yeah there are yeah, i don't know like one million possibilities and uh, let me show you one more option so which works really cool so so let me hide everything that we used already so those one we can hide for now and let me show you one more uh thing that we can do you don't have so much control but yeah, may maybe you might use that as well. So shift A and connect the endpoints where they are not connected. Shift yeah S again and bring this point here to the top and shift A again and connect again those points. So now select both of those curves, press J. So here you see you have now a flat surface and select that area and we can now sweep, shift that one and shift that one and again, shift that one. Yeah, cool. And bam, you see, and we are getting another thing and we have even yeah, kind of a flow and yeah, so where it's thinner, it's, it's not so high and where it's getting thicker, it's going higher. So you can really play with that all stuff around. So I like that. And also those curves that we used, maybe just hide them. So yeah, let's unhide all. So yeah, I will just select all of those curves, bring that here in my hidden group. Perfect. So let's do this one here now. So select that, hide it. And yeah, here just basically let's try that. Shift S, press G, bring that up a little bit and select those two and with loft. And yeah, you see it works. Hmm, cool. Yeah, I like this a lot. So press OK, hide those curves, Alt H. And okay, yeah, this is here a little bit messed up, but yeah, it's fine for the tutorial. And yeah, just here again, just here, the two lines, shift S, G, Z, bring that up, right click, loft, and add to this point. Yeah, and that looks really cool. So perfect, now we have to close everything. So again, select all of those curves and hide them. And let's start with, so we need now, uh, so we want to add fillets and all that stuff, you know, so we need solids. So select this piece, Alt H again. And here it's very simple. So you can just select it 
and it will just close it with patch holes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. And maybe even I didn't do that before. So maybe we can add here a fillet. Yeah. Let's just try it now. Yeah. So old age and let's hide that. And yeah, I think maybe it would be better not to give fillets, but yeah, just let's try. So yeah, this one is also, oh, this one is already solid if you will sweep it. And basically we are just left with this one and here, yeah, we can also just close it with patch holes. So yeah, and I think we have somewhere one more sheet. Yeah. So this one, okay. And uh, this one as well. So just patch holes. Okay. That was everything very simple. So let's try here to give a little fillet. Yeah, that works as well. Uh, let's try here. So here we can give it as well. And let's try this one here as well. Okay. You always have to select all of those outer edges of that. Oh yeah. Okay. Again. Yeah. Perfect. So that looks really good. And now just select all of them and Q and Q and yeah, it doesn't work here. So Q, Q. Uh, and you see when you want to boolean that, I don't know, it just goes away. So yeah, we can't really boolean that because I don't know, it just, it just yeah dissolves here. So I will just go back before we make all of those fillets. So yeah, I went back before I was give, giving fillets because I don't know, somehow it doesn't work. So yeah, now we can basically boolean those two pieces. QQ and this one QQ, but here now you see somehow in this example, so I don't know, it's just now happening in the tutorial. It's not Boolean. So if I press QQ, it just, I don't know, it just dissolves one. And yeah, I just tried to figure something out and something work around. So maybe you can play a little bit around with the position. So yeah, but you see it just doesn't work. But it works if you select both of them, press Q and shift Q for slice. I don't know why it's now <laughs> boolean together. So if you press OK, you get another piece here, but you see now it has a boolean. So super weird. So just select that extra piece and delete it. And also this extra piece and also delete it. So the slice, but now you have here one boolean thing and now you can even fill it that so yeah really just a little bit of a brain exercise just trying around and playing around with different shapes and different boolean operations and yeah here you give can give some fillets you get this really aesthetical flow thing and obviously yeah now you can create more and add some more details and really play around. And if you enjoy and love plasticity as much as I do, check out first link in the description or nikitakapustin.com here on courses. I have amazing plasticity courses where you will learn so many different techniques and workflows and I explain everything down to the details. So if you're a beginner, this is exactly what you need to start your plasticity journey. So that was it. Leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss my other videos and see you in the next one. Bye.